Hi, this is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial, bringing you more useful gardening tips to improve our environment. I'm at the Earth Tones Native Plant Nursery in Woodbury, Connecticut, where ecology matters just as much as plant aesthetics. And I'll be talking to the co-owners, Kyle and Lisa Tarosi, about what they do here that's so special. Nurseries uh, don't go to the trouble uh, growing woody plants, trees and shrubs from seed, but mm. here you are. You actually have little baby <laughs> highbush blueberry. Yes. How challenging is this? <laughs> that's, that's very challenging. It's a labor of love. We have to process the seeds. Um, we have to pretend that we are birds. <laughs> so, so think about how many of these um, seeds are spread. Um, the blueberries, for instance, are a very sweet fruit that many of the birds eat. And then what happens is they will digest mm -hmm. um, and then defecate. And mm -hmm. the seed source then is spread throughout. Um, so the seeds stay intact throughout the um, The whole process, process of the bird eating exactly. and pooping. Um, so we have to think like that. Um, th Mother Nature teaches us a lot. So what we do is we can collect the berries of, of many of these fleshy uh, seeds. And which seed this is that? Is, this is the Actea rubra. Um, so in some situations you can mash them up mm -hmm. and just clean it so that you're right down to the seed. Mm -hmm. um, in other situations you can put them in a baggie um, and just let the flesh rot. Okay. Um, another situation <coughs> is you can put them in water and let them get What's really disgusting. What is, oh, that looks like blueberry. <laughs> is no, that this, blueberry? This what is, is that? not a blueberry. What is that? This is the um, amelanchier. Oh, that's amelanchier. Yeah. So that's a uh, service berry. That's the service berry, and it's good and stinky. Smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you can just mush them. Here's more kitchen tools. So you take, uh, you take the fruit, and you smush it through the sieve. Right. Okay. So I take the mushy fruit, and then... Um, what I do is I, I mash them with my hands mm -hmm. or a uh, rock or something, mm -hmm. and um, what happens is all the f uh, flesh mm -hmm. and, and everything just passes through the sieve, and I'm left with the beautiful seed. And this is what uh, happens? No, this, no? Yes, this, is, this, is, um, this is a wonderful thing um, that we did the same thing with, and then you put it in um, just peat moss. And this is highbush blueberry? And this is highbush blueberry, and it prefers to stay very moist. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't get the nasty wilt, apparently, like you do with some other plants, because it is a moist, loving plant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. How, uh, how old are these little seedlings? Um, they're about maybe a full year. Wow. A full year. Yeah, wow. Many of these seeds we do, um, when the fruit is ready, when the seed is ready, we put them in their little containers. Um, maybe they start to grow, maybe they don't. Mm -hmm. But um, some need a cold period. Um in order to germinate. Right. So um, going back to that whole discussion we had about genetic diversity, how important it is to nature, how important it is for us, really um, buying plants and um, gosh, I'd be willing to pay a premium for plants that were grown like this, mm -hmm. really contributing to genetic diversity is, uh, is the message. So I really applaud yes. you for going th through the time and trouble Thank of doing you. it. It's, it's part of our life's pursuit. <laughs> Give back.